Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about build quality because JD Power just released their initial build quality ratings for 2023. And uh, it is definitely noteworthy, caught me by surprise. You will be amazed when I tell you who is actually on top of the initial build quality statistics. So today we're gonna to review it. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget, hit subscribe right over here in the corner and off we go. For those of you that have been following my channel for quite some time, you realize that most of my content centers around performance-oriented vehicles, whether it be reviews, comparison, mod videos, uh, drag racing, all the stuff that I love to do. Um, I pretty much don't pay a lot of attention to the mass-produced vehicles that are out there, but build quality is a really important stat. And these automotive manufacturers, they pay very close attention to the ratings that come out on build quality and kind of the foremost organization, if you will, independent organization that rates these things is J.D. Power. They've been doing this for a really long time, over 50 years. And with the new stats coming out for 2023, they pulled over 93,000 independent uh, buyers of brand new vehicles to determine initial build quality stats, which brands are the best, which brands are the worst. And the results really were surprising to me. If I'm completely honest, when I think about things like build quality, I think about brands like Toyota, right? I mean, they'll go 300,000 miles, nobody bats an eye. That has sort of been the reputation that they have built. Uh, but we're talking about completely different kind of stats here. Or you could say, hey, look, Mercedes, you know, it's like you can hear that clunk when the door closes. And, you know, the Germans, they've always taken a lot of pride in their build quality, despite the fact their vehicles tend to be a little bit more expensive, at least here in the United States. And when we talk about initial build quality and how JD Power actually rates these things, there's actually a 200 and 23 question survey. I don't know how in the world they got all these people to sit down and answer a survey that is 223 questions long. <laughs> oh, come on! But apparently they did. Like I said, over 93,000 people took this survey basically from February until May of this year on their 2023 car that they just purchased. And that is a pretty big sample size. And they actually look at all sorts of things, nine different categories. Um, they look at uh, entertainment, features, controls, and displays. They look at uh, the exterior, driving assistance features, the interior, the powertrain, obviously really important there, the seats, the driving experience, and the climate inside the car. So they basically take a holistic look at everything on that brand new car and they ask people, hey, look, you know, how does this car perform to meet your expectations? And after all of that, the results are in. So after all the votes have been tallied up, the best uh, manufacturer for initial build quality is Dodge. Who would have thought that? I definitely would not have thought that. As I mentioned, I could think of a whole bunch of other companies that probably would have come in first on that, but no, it is Dodge. And believe it or not, number two on the list is Ram. And uh, number three, and actually the number one rated premium brand, is Alfa Romeo. So one, two, and three all sit under the Stellantis umbrella. Hell yes. The top two of which are Mopars. I, I would not have figured that, guys. And uh, so Dodge comes in at 140 uh, problems per 100 vehicles uh, manufactured, which actually seems like a really crazy stat to me. It seems like a lot. However, they still come in number one. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, there, the number of issues continues to grow. We're not talking about engines blowing up or catastrophic failures. This could be very simple little things or they could be um, more major things. But it is pretty cool that Dodge came in number one on the list. Chevy actually came in fifth. And believe it or not, Ford came in 24th. So they were like way down on the list. Chrysler, for some odd reason, is really low, like really low on the list. They had 250 problems per uh, 100 vehicles made, which is really weird because they uh, are basically just like a charger. So I can't really figure that one out. But another really overwhelming stat is that all of the electric car companies, I'm sitting here looking at it, Tesla, 257, Rivian, Lucid, they all came in basically dead last. Um, and another weird little thing is that uh, those particular companies won't actually allow JD Power to poll their uh, consumers, which I think is a really weird thing. 
Now, initially, when I looked at this, I thought this was some sort of a fluke. Maybe that is just something that has changed for 2023. But come to find out, that's not the case at all. Dodge has actually been at the top of the initial quality ratings for quite some time. When I looked at 2022, they were actually number two. They had 143 problems per 100 vehicles produced, which is basically about the same when everybody else is sliding back. As I mentioned, they're packing more and more technology into these cars, which is gonna lend itself to more issues with little bitty things uh, as consumers get them and as they give feedback. And it turns out Ram was actually all the way back at 19th with 186. So we saw a huge improvement from them. And Alfa Romeo was all the way back at 211. So their initial build quality has come way, way up and they passed a whole bunch of people. But I was surprised to see Dodge kind of at the top of the game there. And it was the same in 2021. They actually had 139. So basically they've stayed really nice and steady. Now granted, they haven't been packing a whole bunch of extra technology into their cars. So maybe that has something to do with it as well. But they were um, also number two in 2021 and the Ram brand was number one. So Mopar has been doing this thing for a while. JD Power also goes on to call out these particular brands. They said the most improved brands for 2023, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Ram, all of which under the Stellantis umbrella. So really impressive stuff here from these guys. I was not expecting to see that sort of improvement or really those numbers at all. I guess I've never paid attention to the initial quality numbers, but um, it is kind of refreshing for somebody that really likes the Dodge brand to see just how well they're doing on initial build quality with a lot of the customers that are out there. Like I said, this isn't something that was put out there subjectively by some author somewhere. I mean, this is legitimate, verified uh, statistics coming back from true consumers about the build quality of their vehicles. Now, many of you may be wondering what the source of a lot of these problems that are being reported actually is. And a lot of them are actually fairly small, not humongous catastrophes like I mentioned before. Uh, the article actually goes on to talk about wireless chargers being a huge problem. And I can definitely see that as I've reviewed and driven a lot of these other cars, um, I'm finding that the wireless chargers on a lot of these just simply don't work well. So that actually does not surprise me. They also talked about the features, controls, all of the displays that they have. Everything's becoming digital. You're getting more displays in cars. So I have to say that I'm really not all that surprised that people are having issues with these. And then you've got all these new models and stuff coming out as well. And as we know, typically with uh, the first year model runs on cars, they tend to have more problems. So I'll actually put a link to the JD Power article down below so you can read it for yourself. They go on and talk about some of this stuff in greater detail, but it is pretty interesting to look to see where people are having problems as well. Now, I do want to stress once again that dependability and initial quality are two very separate things and they are captured by completely different surveys and the results are actually completely different as well. Matter of fact, uh, Chevy and Buick are the only two American car manufacturers to hit the top 10 in uh, dependability statistics from JD Power. So I wanted to put that out there, but when it comes to initial quality, it seems that Dodge is king, at least for 2023. And uh, come to find out, they have been placed in the top three for the last well, multiple years as I've done more and more research. So um, they continue to just do their thing. And a big shout out to the guys at Stellantis and Mopar because um, they're putting a lot of their brands really in the top 10, even in the top five, when you really look at it with uh, Dodge and Ram bringing home one and two and Alfa Romeo bringing home the top uh, kind of premium car spot. I'm impressed by that. So anyway, guys, do you agree with those statistics? Do you think they've been skewed in some way? I can't see how they would coming from JD Power. Like I said, all the manufacturers pay very close attention to what is put out there by JD Power. And you'll even see commercials on TV. Hey, JD Power ranked this, da, 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 da. I mean, they hang their hat on this stuff. So maybe this gives Dodge something to hang their hat on. Who knows? Maybe they'll put a commercial out about how they came in number one in initial quality. Um, and like I said, the continue to place very, very high year in and year out. Surprising stats. I would love to know what you guys think about this. So hit me up in the comments down below and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.